In Mali, one in five children don't live to see their fifth birthday. Acute malnutrition affects around 10% of children under the age of five. Malaria is still the leading cause of child mortality in the country, with pneumonia a close second. Yet there are now straightforward measures for preventing and treating these diseases. In the health zone of Consigala, Médecins Sans Frontières is running a paediatric program in partnership with the Ministry of Health that incorporates these measures into a comprehensive healthcare program targeting the main causes of child mortality. The project started in March 2010. The big difference between this project and what MSF usually does is the prevention component. I think it will have more impact on mortality rates. The prevention activities target children under the age of two. The project is aiming to bring child mortality rates down by adopting a decentralized strategy adapted to a setting where resources are limited. Once a month, the mobile vaccination team visits each of the 17 villages in the Consigala Health Zone. The children are vaccinated according to the National Immunization Programme, which since 2011 includes a vaccine to prevent pneumococcal infection, a common cause of pneumonia. Thanks to the vaccination programme, children are registered at a very young age, within a few days or weeks after birth. Salia Kone has brought her youngest child, who is just 20 days old. The programme is explained to her and she is asked whether she wants her child to participate. Then she is given a health record book for the child's follow-up. We fill in the child's name and age and then we give the health record book to the mother. We ask her to come back to Consigala Health Center when the child is 30 days old for the first consultation and to collect a mosquito net. We use the same health record book to follow the child from the first vaccination through to the last one at nine months. Before MSF arrived, things were not very well organized. There were a lot of breaches in the cold chain and big procurement problems, with vaccines not arriving on time. There were motorbikes, but they were always breaking down because they were never serviced. We began by improving the cold chain and the procurement system, and then we organized visits to the different vaccination sites. And the results have been very good, especially in Consigela. Vaccination coverage is now more than 98%.